let's talk about the Tenor 10Z Pro. Now it promises to be an action cam, promises to be great comms, it basically promises to be all the communication that you possibly need. Now it's dead easy to fit, I'll give them that. You take your line out of your helmet, you stick your speakers in, you decide what mic you want, either the stick in small mic or the boom mic, and you're pretty much good to go. Once you're giving it a full charge, they claim again, the camera can do everything you want it to be. It can be a crash camera, it can be a blogger's camera, it can be catch a bit of time with your friends, but does it actually work? Well, the camera is pretty good, absolutely. Now, if you look at this footage. So, this is the footage that you get on board the Senna. Um, now, at the moment, the sun's just gone out and it's quite cloudy. It's gone, you know, not dark, but as you can see, it's not a perfect, perfect for recording weather. Um, so, this is the kind of quality that you actually get from the camera. So, and the sound quality as well. Now this isn't on the boom mic, this is a mic that sticks to the side of the helmet, the small one that I actually prefer because I don't like the boom mic almost touches your lips um, and I just don't like that. Um, you can hear from the sound quality and obviously there's a lot of noise going on and wind noise but I'm quite loud so when I have to edit using the center I have to um, literally volume slow, <coughs> sorry, put the uh, volume slightly down because um, it is very very loud but it's very very good. You can see it's really good. In all weathers, rain, sun, it gets really good camera, it's nice and clear, it's good. But there's a downside. The battery life, roughly 40 minutes of battery life. So 40 minutes is great if you want to do short vlog videos. As a crash cam, not really. If you're going for a decent ride, it's going to run out of juice. That's not what you want. And to switch the camera on, you have to hold down a button and it tells you that the camera's on. Then you have to wait and hold down the button again, then it will say it's recording. By that point, something's happened. So, for a vlogger, for a chat, for a little ride out with your friends to capture some action, bit of sport, brilliant camera, but 40 minutes. Now there is a fix, but it's an annoying fix. You have to put in a USB cable into the charge socket, run it to a power bank that will be in your pocket, and basically, you can keep going and going and going. Now, if you watch my Welsh videos, in year end, I think it's about episode three, if not four, that's what I ended up having to do. Um, and it does work, but it's annoying because then you've got a cable running down and it catches against your top. It's not the best thing in the world. So battery life, 40 minutes, not the best. We want to talk about the comms. Now, the comms themselves, center to center, crystal clear, fantastic. This claims the ultimate comms because it can connect to universal. Now, I've done this, I've got some of those BT comms that everybody sees, the Freedom and blah blah blah, they're all the same, stick a badge on it, it's, you, it's universal Bluetooth comms. It's no good. What you get is, and again if you watch a previous video, you'll hear me trying to talk to my son. It's, it's extremely extorted and really loud, and you can turn it down, but you can hardly hear the person, and if you turn it up, they're so extorted, again, you can hardly understand them. And likewise, when it comes back through to like to you, you can get away with it, but you're going to struggle to have any kind of conversation other than, do you need to stop? Loo break. It's probably as good as you're going to get. So, on that, I want to talk about when it connects to things like your TomTom. -tom. Now, I use a TomTom -tom, uh, Rider 550, and they have exactly the same problem with that as well. But I can understand it, it's just really loud. Now, on the TomTom, -tom, it has a problem. Where you can turn it down with everything else, when it connects this, for some reason that option disappears. So you can't turn the volume down on the TomTom. -tom. Again, you can only use the center and use the jog wheel to turn it down. And it's still distorted, but it's usable and it does work. So, if you look at this as well, the functionality is really good. To turn it on, you press the two buttons and it lights up and it says, I believe it says center on or something similar to that um, and that's really good but there is a lot of combinations that you need to use to be able to use the system it, I go down to using the camera I switch on I know how that works I know how to skip tracks um, and when I'm listening to music and music quality is really good in this the speakers are really good you get good bass you get good tone it works really well um, so that's good um, 
the other sort of things that are important about this as well is is that if you're after kind of something that's easy to use or put in because if you look at things like the GoPro where people attach them all over the helmet they get um, they you have to buy an aftermarket mic you put it in and the sound quality is not the best now recording sound quality as you've heard is really good it's loud again but using your editing software you knock it down by a couple of bars and the sounds really really good so it's extremely impressive for doing that now would I buy this again yes I would I would buy it again because it does everything I want it to do as a vlogger I'd buy it as a vlogger camera and that's all I'd buy it for if you're after sort of an action sort of uh, crash camera you better just buy yourself a cheaper camera put it on one with a good battery life and last don't buy it for a crash camera buy it for a vlogging camera that's pretty much it it's um it's overall good um, I'd recommend it don't be caught up in sort of the uh, on the big appeal of thinking it's an all-in-one it is but it's not good at universal comms it's not good at uh, battery life it's not good at connecting to your Bluetooth devices other than your phone for music. It also claims, this is quite an interesting one, you can press a button on it and it will do voice prompts. Let me tell you, no volume, as in no exhaust noise, no riding along, works brilliantly. As soon as you get going, you press that button, you say, Senna, play music, or whatever the voice commands are, nothing. It's not recognised. So, again, you have to set everything up before you go, press the play button, get everything to work the way you want it to work, and it's okay. But don't expect to be able to give it voice commands, it won't work. Another downside to that, but overall, it's a good piece of kit, it's worth buying if you're enjoying your vlogging or catching your friends, catching bits on the track, you might have to run a cable, you might have to charge it again. But there you go, that's the 10 and 10C Pro long term review. Thank you for watching. Remember, hit the subscribe, hit the bell button. Keep watching me, I'll keep making the videos. Thank you very much.